broilers actually only live about seven weeks, because that's the age when we eat them. Broilers can live normal lifespans if they are raised to do so instead of to gain weight as fast as possible. But layer chickens are such a special species of hens, which need to be raised from when they are one day old. They start laying eggs commercially from 18-19 weeks of age. And layers are kept till the egg production stops and it may take 5 to 7 years of age. So the vaccination schedule for layers is different from broilers. First vaccine at the age of day 1. Marex disease vaccine. Composition, each dose contains not less than 103 PFU of serotype 1, Rispence, EVI 988 strain of chicken herpes virus. How to administer the Marex disease vaccine to poultry chicks? You will need, vaccine, dilutant. 1 3 ml syringe, a number of 1 ml syringes, I use 1 syringe for about every 3 chicks, rubbing alcohol, cotton balls, paper towel, 2 boxes. Before you begin, put a layer of paper towel down onto the table on which you will work. You want a surface that won't be slippery. Remove the metal top from the bottles of vaccine and dilute it. Clean both with the alcohol on a cotton ball. Step 1. Using a sterile 3 ml syringe, withdraw 3 ml of dilutant from the bottle. Step 2. Insert the syringe into the small bottle of vaccine and insert the dilutant. Remove the syringe. Swish the small bottle around so that the vaccine wafer completely dissolves. Step 3. Pull back on the plunger of the 3 ml syringe to fill it with about 2 to 3 ml of air. This is very important. Step 4. Put the syringe needle tip back into the small vaccine vial. Do not put it in too much. Inject the air into the vial. This breaks the vacuum in the vial. Leave the syringe needle in the vial. Do not remove it. With the needle still in the vial, tilt the whole thing upside down and pull back the syringe plunger so as to draw back into the syringe the entire contents of the small vaccine vial. Step 5. Remove the syringe from the vaccine vial, and insert it into the dilutant bottle. Push the plunger down so that the contents of the syringe with the now dissolved vaccine, are released into the dilutant bottle. Gently swirl the dilutant bottle so that the vaccine is evenly distributed. Now you're ready to use the vaccine. Step 6. Place a layer of paper towel into the bottom of two boxes. Put all the unvaccinated chicks into one box the other boxes to put them in once you vaccinate them, so you'll know which ones have been done. Take a small syringe, the 1 milliliter ones that diabetics use are perfect for this, fill it with 0.2 milliliters, 2 tenths, of the vaccine mixture, which is now in the dilutant bottle. Step 7. Pick up a chick and place it on the paper towel in front of you. Grasp it gently behind the neck, pulling up a small fold of skin. Cup the chick in your hand while doing this vaccination process, as they often push backwards with their feet. 
for the first several times it is helpful to have someone hold the chick while you do the actual injection. This vaccination is subcutaneous. That means under the skin. You do not want to put the vaccine into the muscles or veins of the chick. Step 8. Gently inject the vaccine into the fold of skin. You will feel a small bump growing under the bird's skin as the vaccine goes in. If you insert the needle too far or not far enough, you will feel your fingers get wet and you will have to start over with that one. Use a sterile automatic syringe with a 20 to 22 gauge 3 8 to 1 half needle that is said to accurately deliver 0.2 milliliters per dose. Check the accuracy of delivery several times during the vaccination procedure. Second vaccination, at the age of 5 to 7 days Rainocket disease and Newcastle disease lasso to strain. Composition, each dose of vaccine contains highly immunogenic Newcastle disease virus 108DID50 vaccine strain prior to an activation which corresponds to 50PD50. How to administer the vaccine to poultry chicks? You will need vaccine, dilutant, 1 3 milliliters syringe, 2 boxes, drop dispenser. These vaccines accompanied by diluent are recommended for the vaccination of healthy chickens 5 to 7 day of age or older. These are intranasal and intraocular vaccination. Step 1. Using a sterile 3 ml syringe, withdraw 3 ml of dilutant from the bottle. Step 2. Insert the syringe into the small bottle of vaccine and insert the dilutant. Remove the syringe. Swish the small bottle around so that the vaccine wafer completely dissolves. Step 3. Pull back on the plunger of the 3 ml syringe to fill it with about 2 to 3 ml of air. This is very important. Step 4. Put the syringe needle tip back into the small vaccine vial. Do not put it in too much. Inject the air into the vial. This breaks the vacuum in the vial. Leave the syringe needle in the vial. Do not remove it. With the needle still in the vial, tilt the whole thing upside down and pull back the syringe plunger so as to draw back into the syringe the entire contents of the small vaccine vial. Step 5. Remove the syringe from the vaccine vial and insert it into the dilutant bottle. Push the plunger down so that the contents of the syringe, with the now dissolved vaccine, are released into the dilutant bottle. Gently swirl the dilutant bottle so that the vaccine is evenly distributed. Now you're ready to use the vaccine. Step 6. Remove stopper and fill the vaccine and drop dispenser from diluent container. Step 7. Place a layer of paper towel into the bottom of two boxes. Put all the UN vaccinated chicks into one box, the other boxes to put them in once you vaccinate them, so you'll know which ones have been done. Step 8. To vaccinate intranasally, place finger over one of the bird's nostrils and place one drop of vaccine in the other nostril. Do not release bird until vaccine has been inhaled. Step 9. To vaccinate intraocularly, place one drop of vaccine in the eye. Third vaccination at the age of 14 days. Infectious bruisal disease, 
Gumboro disease. Composition. Each dose of vaccine contains live freeze-dried IBD, intermediate standard strain, virus of 10 QBID 50. You will need, vaccine, dilutant, 1 3 ml syringe, 2 boxes, drop dispenser. These vaccines accompanied by diluent are recommended for the vaccination of healthy chickens 14 days of age or older. These are intranasal and intraocular vaccination. Step 1. Using a sterile 3 ml syringe, withdraw 3 ml of dilutant from the bottle. Step 2. Insert the syringe into the small bottle of vaccine and insert the dilutant. Remove the syringe. Swish the small bottle around so that the vaccine wafer completely dissolves. Step 3. Pull back on the plunger of the 3 ml syringe to fill it with about 2 to 3 ml of air. This is very important. Step 4. Put the syringe needle tip back into the small vaccine vial. Do not put it in too much. Inject the air into the vial. This breaks the vacuum in the vial. Leave the syringe needle in the vial. Do not remove it. With the needle still in the vial, tilt the whole thing upside down and pull back the syringe plunger so as to draw back into the syringe the entire contents of the small vaccine vial. Step 5. Remove the syringe from the vaccine vial, and insert it into the dilutant bottle. Push the plunger down so that the contents of the syringe with the now dissolved vaccine, are released into the dilutant bottle. Gently swirl the dilutant bottle so that the vaccine is evenly distributed. Now you're ready to use the vaccine. Step 6. Remove stopper and fill the vaccine and drop dispenser from diluent container. Step 7. Place a layer of paper towel into the bottom of two boxes. Put all the UN vaccinated chicks into one box, the other boxes to put them in once you vaccinate them, so you'll know which ones have been done. Step 8. To vaccinate intranasally, place finger over one of the bird's nostrils and place one drop of vaccine in the other nostril. Do not release bird until vaccine has been inhaled. Step 9. To vaccinate intraocularly, place one drop of vaccine in the eye. Fourth vaccination at the age of 18 to 22 days. Infectious bronchitis vaccine. Fifth vaccination at the age of 24 to 27 days same vaccine repeat, booster dose. Composition, each dose contains live infectious bronchitis virus, 793 B type, at least 10 to the power of 3.5 EID 50. You will need, vaccines, containers, gloves, colors, which are available at poultry stores, skimmed milk powder, and stirring rod. These vaccines accompanied by diluent are recommended for the vaccination of healthy chickens 22 days of age or older. These are intraocular vaccination. This vaccination can also be given through drinking water. Step 1. Discontinue use of medications or sanitizing agents in the drinking water 24 hours before vaccinating. Do not resume use for 24 hours following vaccination. Step 2. 
water used for the drinking water administration of a live virus vaccine must be non-chlorinated. Step 3. Provide enough waterers so two to thirds of the birds may drink at one time. Scrub waterers with fresh, clean, non-chlorinated water and use no disinfectant. Let the waterers drain dry. Step 4. Turn off automatic waterers, so the only available water is the vaccine water. Do not give vaccine water through medication tanks. Step 5. Stabilize the water by placing 500 grams of skim milk powder for every 200 liters, 52.8 US gal, of water. The water should be stabilized 20 to 30 minutes prior to adding the vaccine. Step 6. Withhold water for 2 hours before vaccinating. Do not deprive the birds of water if the temperature is extremely high. Step 7. Remove seal from vaccine vial. Remove stopper and half fill with clean, cool, non-chlorinated water. Step 8. Replace stopper and shake until dissolved. Use a clean container two-thirds filled with cool, clean, non-chlorinated water. Color will be added and water which is kept ready for mixing vaccine to check whether all the chicks have drunk or not. Step 9. Add the rehydrated vaccine from the vial and again stir the contents thoroughly. Next, add the mixture to the final volume of water, as follows. Step 10. Distribute the final volume of vaccine water evenly among the clean waterers. Do not place the waterers in direct sunlight. Resume regular water administration only after all the vaccine water has been consumed. Sixth vaccination at the age of 28 to 30 days. Rainicut disease and Newcastle disease lasso strain. Opposition. Each dose of vaccine contains highly immunogenic Newcastle disease virus 108TID50 vaccine strain prior to inactivation which corresponds to 50p. D50. How to administrate vaccine in drinking water. These vaccines are recommended for the vaccination of healthy chickens 3 weeks of age or older. You will need, vaccines, containers, gloves, colors, which are available at poultry stores, milk powder, and stirring rod. Step 1. Discontinue use of medications or sanitizing agents in the drinking water 24 hours before vaccinating. Do not resume use for 24 hours following vaccination. Step 2. Water used for the drinking water administration of a live virus vaccine must be non-chlorinated. Step 3. Provide enough waterers so two to thirds of the birds may drink at one time. Scrub waterers with fresh, clean, non-chlorinated water and use no disinfectant. Let the waterers drain dry. Step 4. Turn off automatic waterers so the only available water is the vaccine water. Do not give vaccine water through medication tanks. Step 5. Stabilize the water by placing 500 grams of skim milk powder for every 200 liters, 52.8 US gal, of water. 
The water should be stabilized 20 to 30 minutes prior to adding the vaccine. Step 6. Withhold water for 2 hours before vaccinating. Do not deprive the birds of water if the temperature is extremely high. Step 7. Remove seal from vaccine vial. Remove stopper and half fill with clean, cool, non-chlorinated water. Step 8. Replace stopper and shake until dissolved. Use a clean container two-thirds filled with cool, clean, non-chlorinated water. Color will be added in water which is kept ready for mixing vaccine to check whether all the chicks have drunk or not. Step 9. Add the rehydrated vaccine from the vial and again stir the contents thoroughly. Next, add the mixture to the final volume of water, as follows. Step 10. Distribute the final volume of vaccine water evenly among the clean waterers. Do not place the waterers in direct sunlight. Resume regular water administration only after all the vaccine water has been consumed. Seventh vaccine at the age of sixth week. Infectious quarries of vaccine. Composition. Each dose contains not less than a pre-inactivation titer of 1 into 108 CFU Haemophilus paraglinarum bacterium serotype A and serotype C. How to administer the vaccine to poultry chicks. These vaccines accompanied by diluent are recommended for the vaccination of healthy chickens should take place 4 to 6 weeks after the first dose. A dose of 0.5 milliliters per bird is recommended. This is a subcutaneous vaccination. It is injected near neck region. You will need, vaccine, dilutant, 1 3 ml syringe, a number of 1 ml syringes, I use 1 syringe for about every 3 chicks, rubbing alcohol, cotton balls, paper towel. Step 1, using a sterile 3 ml syringe, withdraw 3 ml of dilutant from the bottle. Step 2, insert the syringe into the small bottle of vaccine and insert the dilutant. Remove the syringe. Swish the small bottle around so that the vaccine wafer completely dissolves. Step 3. Pull back on the plunger of the 3 ml syringe to fill it with about 2 to 3 ml of air. This is very important. Step 4. Put the syringe needle tip back into the small vaccine vial. Do not put it in too much. Inject the air into the vial. This breaks the vacuum in the vial. Leave the syringe needle in the vial. Do not remove it dot with the needle still in the vial, tilt the whole thing upside down and pull back the syringe plunger so as to draw back into the syringe the entire contents of the small vaccine vial. Step 5. Remove the syringe from the vaccine vial, and insert it into the dilutant bottle. Push the plunger down so that the contents of the syringe, with the now dissolved vaccine, are released into the dilutant bottle. Gently swirl the dilutant bottle so that the vaccine is evenly distributed. Now you're ready to use the vaccine. Step 6. Take a small syringe. The 1 ml ones that diabetics use are perfect for this, or take automatic vaccination syringe and fill it the vaccine mixture, which is now in the dilutant bottle. Step 7. Pick up a bird and grasp it gently behind the neck or inguinal fold, pulling up a small fold of skin. Cut the bird in your hand while doing this vaccination process, as they often push backwards with their feet. For the first several times it is helpful to have someone hold the bird while you do the actual injection. This vaccination is subcutaneous. Must be done under register veterinarian supervision. That means under the skin. You do not want to put the vaccine into the muscles or veins of the bird. Adjust the volume to 0.5 milliliters. Step 8. Gently inject the vaccine into the fold of skin. You will feel a small bump growing under the bird's skin as the vaccine goes in. If you insert the needle too far or not far enough, you will feel your fingers get wet, 
and you will have to start over with that one. 8th Vaccine at the Age of 8th Week Rainocate Disease and Newcastle Disease Vaccine, Live, Mesogenic, R2B Strain Composition colon Each dose of vaccine contains mesogenic R2B much war strain greater than 105 VID 50. How to administrate vaccine for poultry birds? These vaccines accompanied by diluent are recommended for the vaccination of healthy chickens should take place 8 weeks after the first dose. A dose of 0.2 ml per bird is recommended. This is an intramuscular vaccination. It is injected in the part of breast muscle region. You will need, vaccine, dilutant, 1 3 ml syringe, a number of 1 ml syringes, I use 1 syringe for about every 3 chicks, rubbing alcohol, cotton balls, paper towel. Step 1, using a sterile 3 ml syringe, withdraw 3 ml of dilutant from the bottle. Step 2. Insert the syringe into the small bottle of vaccine and insert the dilutant. Remove the syringe. Swish the small bottle around so that the vaccine wafer completely dissolves. Step 3. Pull back on the plunger of the 3 ml syringe to fill it with about 2 to 3 ml of air. This is very important. Step 4. Put the syringe needle tip back into the small vaccine vial. Do not put it in too much. Inject the air into the vial, this breaks the vacuum in the vial, leave the syringe needle in the vial, do not remove it. With the needle still in the vial, tilt the whole thing upside down and pull back the syringe plunger so as to draw back into the syringe the entire contents of the small vaccine vial. Step 5, remove the syringe from the vaccine vial, and insert it into the dilutant bottle. Push the plunger down so that the contents of the syringe, with the now dissolved vaccine, are released into the dilutant bottle. Gently swirl the dilutant bottle so that the vaccine is evenly distributed. Now you're ready to use the vaccine. Step 6, take a small syringe, the 1 milliliter ones that diabetics use are perfect for this, or take automatic vaccination syringe and fill it the vaccine mixture, which is now in the dilutant bottle. Step 7. Pick up a bird and grasp it gently and lay it down while doing this vaccination process, as they often push backwards with their feet. For the first several times it is helpful to have someone hold the bird while you do the actual injection. This vaccination is intramuscular. Must be done under register veterinarian supervision. You do not want to put the vaccine into the veins or bones of the bird. Adjust the volume to 0.2 milliliters. Step 8. The needle should be inserted at a slight angle into the thickest part of the breast muscle. If the needle went through the veins or bones remove the needle and insert the breast muscle again. Step 9. Gently inject the vaccine into the breast muscle. Change the needle if needed when you are giving to next. 9th vaccine at the age of 9th week. Foul pox vaccine. Composition. Each dose contains not less than 102 EID 50 foul pox virus. How to administer the vaccine to poultry chicks. You will need, vaccine, dilutant, 1 3 ml syringe, wing web applicator. These vaccines accompanied by diluent are recommended for the vaccination of healthy chickens 9 weeks of age or older. These are intramuscular vaccination wing web vaccine. 0.2 ml is recommended for dose for every chick and must be done under registered veterinarian supervision. Step 1, using a sterile 3 ml syringe, withdraw 3 ml of dilutant from the bottle. Step 2. Insert the syringe into the small bottle of vaccine and insert the dilutant. Remove the syringe. Swish the small bottle around so that the vaccine wafer completely dissolves. Step 3. Pull back on the plunger of the 3 ml syringe to fill it with about 2 to 3 ml of air. This is very important. Step 4. Put the syringe needle tip back into the small vaccine vial. Do not put it in too much. 
Inject the air into the vial. This breaks the vacuum in the vial. Leave the syringe needle in the vial. Do not remove it. With the needle still in the vial, tilt the whole thing upside down and pull back the syringe plunger so as to draw back into the syringe the entire contents of the small vaccine vial. Step 5. Remove the syringe from the vaccine vial, and insert it into the dilutant bottle. Push the plunger down so that the contents of the syringe, with the now dissolved vaccine, are released into the dilutant bottle. Gently swirl the dilutant bottle so that the vaccine is evenly distributed. Now you're ready to use the vaccine. Step 6. Gently lift either wing, pulling it out to its full extent. Expose the underside of the wing so that it is facing up and the web is visible. Step 7. Your vaccine should come with a two-prong needle called a wing web applicator. Dip the applicator wells into the vaccine bottle. Take caution that the needle is not dipped too deep. It should be just enough to fully submerge the applicator wells. Step 8. Once the applicator has been loaded with the vaccine, pierce the needles into the wing web, taking care to avoid feathers, bones, and large blood vessels. You can ensure proper placement of the applicator by centering the needle puncture in the middle of the triangle formed by the spread apart wing web. 10th Vaccination at the age of 12 to 13 weeks. Infectious Bronchitis Vaccine. Composition. Each dose contains live infectious bronchitis virus, 793B type, at least 103.5 EID50. How to administer the vaccine to poultry chicks. These vaccines accompanied by diluent are recommended for the vaccination of healthy chickens 18 to 22 days of age or older. These are intraocular vaccine, the administration as shown previously. From the age of 24 to 27 days it can be also administrated through drinking water as shown previously. Repeat this vaccination once for every two months. 11th vaccination at the age of 18th week. Rainocat disease and Newcastle disease vaccine, live, mesogenic R2B strain. Composition colon each dose of vaccine contains mesogenic R2B much war strain greater than 105 VID 50. How to administrate vaccine for poultry birds. These vaccines accompanied by diluent are recommended for the vaccination of healthy chickens should take place 8 weeks after the first dose. A dose of 0.2 ml per bird is recommended. This is an intramuscular vaccination. It is injected in the part of breast muscle region. The administration of this vaccination is as shown previously. Repeat this vaccination once for every two. 12th vaccination at the age of 40 weeks. Rainocat disease and Newcastle disease lassota strain. Composition. Each dose of vaccine contains highly immunogenic Newcastle disease virus greater than 108 DID 50 vaccine strain prior to an activation which corresponds to greater than 50 PD 50. How to administer the vaccine to poultry chicks. These vaccines accompanied by diluent are recommended for the vaccination of healthy chickens 4 to 5 days of age or older. These are intranasal and intraocular vaccination the administration is as shown previously. These vaccines are can also be administrated through drinking water the administration is as shown previously. Repeat this vaccination once for every two months. 13th vaccination at the age of 45 to 50 weeks. IBD, infectious brutal disease vaccine, Gumboro disease. Composition, each dose of vaccine contains live freeze-dried IBD, intermediate standard strain, virus of, 10-3 EID 50. How to administer the vaccine to poultry chicks. These vaccines accompanied by diluent are recommended for the vaccination of healthy chickens 14 days of age or older. These are intranasal and intraocular vaccination the administration is as shown previously. 
repeat this vaccination once for every two months. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>